All right, one more story about a pet. Emma's Turtle by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Marsha Winborn. Um, I love Eve Bunting. She's one of my favorite authors. She's written lots and lots of stories. And I can see this turtle has some stickers of different places on his back. And then he's standing on the ground that looks, sort of looks like the earth. So let's see what happens with this guy. Emma's turtle. Emma's turtle. I am Emma's turtle. I live in a pen in her backyard. Emma visits me often and brings me snacks. I let her stroke my head. So um, there's a pen, which means that she put up some wood and some um, wires to make the pen. It's not like a pen you write with, but a turtle pen or a little cage um, to keep him inside. She sits in her swing and reads to me of the world and places that are far, far away. She shows me pictures of elephants in Africa and kangaroos in Australia. There are tigers in India and panda bears in China. It is all quite amazing. My life is good, but I often dream of the world that is far, far away. So it looks like these are wild animals or animals who don't live with a person. But that this turtle is a pet he lives with Emma. One day I tell myself to stop dreaming and go. I dig a hole under the wire of my pen and squeeze out. <gasps> he escaped. I am walking in this place I've never walked before. My legs are short and the grass is long. I think this must be a jungle. Perhaps I am in Africa. Is that an elephant leg in front of me? Oh, I am going to be squished. No, it is the stump of some strange jungle tree. I plod on. It looks like it could be an elephant, an elephant's foot, but it's a tree. And plod, plod means he walks on. I have come so far, now I think this must be Australia. Is that a kangaroo leaping through the grassland? No, it's a frog. But since it is an Australian frog, it is very interesting. Frogs certainly move fast. And you can probably hear my dog barking in the background. She's my pet. So this frog is jumping over him. He thought it was a kangaroo, but no. I hear bells chime. Ah, uh, they must be the temple bells, and this must be India. Yikes, is that a tiger? Look at that long tail. I don't know. I pull my two shells together so he can't eat me. But when I peep out, I see it's just the silly striped cat from next door. I never knew he sometimes visited India. Hmm, the turtle thinks he's going to all these places. An Indian beetle watches me. He looks exactly like the other beetles I have known. We are eyes to eyes. It's nice here in India, he says. But come visit me in the United States, I tell him. It's nice there too. I may do that, he says. I gaze around. Do you know where the United States is from here, I ask? Sorry, he says, and he crawls off. So he thinks he's still in India. Do you think he's in India? I am worried. I have come so far. Will I be able to find my way home? Will I have to stay in India forever? A voice is calling. Turtle, turtle, where are you? Hooray, it's Emma. My Emma. I am here in 
India, I say. But I'm using turtle talk, and she doesn't understand me. She sees me and picks me up. Thank goodness I found you. Thank goodness. It is so good to be off my feet. I let her stroke my head. She has brought a snail for me in her pocket. It is fat and juicy and splendid. Mm. Emma carries me back and sets me in my pen. Strawberry slices are scattered about for my supper. I am tired, but I can still eat. Look, here's the strawberry. Hmm, and I guess he ate the snail already. Emma leans across my wire fence. Poor turtle, she croons. I bet it took you all day to go from one end of our yard to the other. I hope it was exciting for you. <gasps> Did I really only go from one end to, of the yard to the other? Astonishing. <gasps> hmm, he thought he was crawling all the way around the world, but he was just in the yard. Still, it's exciting to have the whole world here in my backyard. I settle to sleep. A traveling turtle needs his rest. Tomorrow I will dig another hole. I need to go again and find China. Hmm, so he thought he went everywhere, all over the world. But really, he was just in his backyard. Do you think he could survive in all those places if he really went? <laughs> 